Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today I want to share with you three basic light setups that I have learned and actually used on paying gigs. The good thing about these setups is that it only takes one light, one bounce card and it costs $100 or even less. And it's really good for lighting interviews, talking heads and portraits for photography. So if you're starting out and you want to get into client work, this is a really cheap way and effective way of doing it. So since I told you that you can actually get this equipment for less than $100, I'm going to show you a quick example of how a little online shopping can help you actually do it. I already picked a couple of items that I would personally go for, and it is $78.96, and you have a light with a stand, a carrying bag, two light bulbs, the bounce cards, a stand for the bounce card, and a holder for the bounce card all for $78.96. Hey everybody, I'm here in the studio with my test subject and our lighting setup. And today I'm gonna to teach you one of the most basic setups out there for interviews and portraits. All you need is one softbox. And most likely you will never go wrong with this setup. So this 45 degree angle lighting setup is very good for many reasons. It is very easy to achieve. You easily get that ram brown lighting in your subject's face you get the catch light in your subject's eyes very easily and it imitates window lighting very nicely. It's very soft and will always work for portraits and almost always gonna work for interviews. This time, the light is a little bit towards the side of her subject instead of 45 degrees angle to the side. And instead of coming all the way from up, like our previous lighting setup, for these setups, you can go a little bit from the side. Not completely from the side, you still wanna get that angle from above. It gives you that nice texture on their face, but you can side it up a little bit more. And also, you tend to have more heavier shadows when you do broad side lighting. So you might or might not want to use a bounce card. That is all up to you whether you want more shadows or less shadows. So broad side lighting or short side lighting can be very cool. It exploits the texture in the face, adds a lot of shadows, adds character, makes you look really dramatic. So it's really good to experiment with this type of lighting whenever you just want to add that drama or that ruggedness to your character's face. So for our last setup, we're gonna do a beauty lighting setup or other people call it butterfly setup. You wanna make sure you're coming from above, from three feet. You can also put it in front with a stand, but you wanna really angle that it's almost above and fill in the shadows underneath their eye sockets and their neck with a bounce card. Very important. If not, you'll get like a very spooky feeling, which is cool, but you want that beauty look. So the butterfly lighting setup from up above is used in a lot of commercial work. It's really good for beauty and makeup photo shoots. It fills up almost every shadow in your subject's face but still leaves a really nice and soft butterfly shaped shadow underneath your subject's nose. These lighting setups and techniques I have used a lot of times before for interviews like I said and for paying gigs. And they're just really good because if a client doesn't have any expectations or they don't give you a lighting scheme, then you can already have these set up in your mind and know how to do them. And the client will be impressed and satisfied with the video and how it will look instead of just having normal flat lighting or no lighting at all. And it's good because it costs $100 or less, so you should definitely try it out. Thank you for watching my first video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. I know I have a thick accent, but each episode, I'm gonna try to make it better. Maybe I can teach you a new word, like, let's see. What's a new word I can teach you? Lighting, iluminación. Lighting in Spanish is iluminación. So maybe that's something cool. But next week, I will definitely have a video where I will teach you or just share with you 
skills that I have learned along the way. So thank you for watching.